So, welcome back. This is the last lecture of the this course, second part on PDE. Uh, so, essentially, I will be doing some general remarks here. Uh, okay, so, this. Uh, so, again, let me uh, start with some comments on semi group theory and then. So, even for matrices or bounded linear operators in general, so the if A and B are bounded linear operators, so they generate that imply this e to the t a uh, e to the t b are groups generated by them right generated by them uh, by a b ok. So, e to the t a plus b. So, this is the group generated by generated by <coughs> a plus b. Okay. So, in general we know this, we know this t a plus b is not equal to e. even for matrices we know this. So, equality holds if A and B commute, okay. but it is always <coughs> see we have been discussing the semi group theory and uh, <coughs> one particular operator generating a group and then by some perturbation we also know that the other group uh, some addition uh, operator also generates a group. But in general you do not have a knowledge uh, of that group. For example, this considering the heat equation. Okay. So, we know that this group semi group in explicit form semi group is known in explicit form through that uh, <coughs> through Fourier Poisson formula. Right? But if we make uh, a perturbation here, so instead of Laplacian, if I consider Laplacian u plus some lower order terms. And of course, we apply again Cato's perturbation result and show that this also generates a semi group. Generates a semi group. But it is not clear <coughs> what that semi group is, though we know without lower order terms that explicitly. So, in this direction, so again many. <coughs> results have been developed. So, this is an important question right. So, so this goes by name of Trotter and then developed by Cato. So, they are now in the literature you find this Trotter uh, product formula. Okay. There are many developments in semi group theory. Uh, since that Hille Yoshida uh, <coughs> theorem was proved okay, that after the discovery. Okay. So, one more <coughs> few more remarks I would like to know. So, this we have discussed this heat equation uh, wave equation in particular. So, let me not talk about Schrodinger equation whether 
Schrodinger equation in a bounded <coughs> set makes physical equations are not uh, because you do not find any literature, but certainly heat and wave equation discussed only in R n. But we know that these are also important uh, these <coughs> problems more generally parabolic equation and hyperbolic equations in bounded domains. What about in about in bounded domains? So, let me just bounded domains. Okay. So, more generally, so this u t we consider this L u and u t t L u where L is uh, a uniformly elliptic. So, you replace Laplacian by <coughs> uh, elliptic second order. You can consider higher order also, but let me just make remarks about uh, second order elliptic equation, elliptic second order operator. Okay. So, now you consider in uh, bounded domains. bounded domains omega. So, obviously, apart from the initial condition, the initial conditions we also have uh, <coughs> uh, boundary conditions coming from the uh, this bounded domain. So, what is the strategy here? the strategy depends largely on the properties of this. So, that you have extensively studied in the first part of this course, uh, <coughs> weak formulation uh, and then uh, regularity theory, then even eigenvalues and other things. So, you essentially know <coughs> many, many properties of that operate real. Okay, so, let me just recall that. Okay, so, again go back to the hile Yoshida theorem, okay, then it becomes clear what we intend to do. Okay, just. Okay, so, <coughs> an operator A in a Banach space A generates a semi group this is most general one of course. Uh, we have of course, simpler versions uh, in the form of lumer phillips theorem A generates a semi group if and only if. So, two things. So, A is densely defined closed operator. So, most of the uh, <coughs> differential operators we encounter, this is easy to uh, <coughs> obtain. Okay. What is not that easy is this spectral analysis. So, that so this uh, there is an omega that sits in. So, a half plane or half line should be in the resolvent set and the resolvent estimates hold. Resolvent estimates hold. So, that <coughs> so, R lambda A. So, let me write that. Of course, these are simplified. 
uh, when A is uh, m dissipative okay, that we have already seen that. So, this m uh, lambda minus omega power k power k and lambda bigger than ok. So, this spectral <coughs> And this resolvent estimate uh, is simpler for dissipative operators. Okay. So, this uniformly elliptic operator of second order should satisfy these <coughs> properties. Okay. So, what should be the domain of that operator? Okay. So, let me again go back there. So, we should know the domain. So, of course, we are working in L 2 theory then the L p theory is again one more thing I just remarked. So, not much is known. So, there is uh, need for unification. So, this is L 2 theory ok domain P L in L 2 ok. So, this is <coughs> and in the first part you have essentially learned that L 2 theory ok and this domain should be such that it should <coughs> contain should contain uh, the prescribed boundary conditions. So, let me just Okay. So, for example, so let me again go further. Okay. So, for example, for example, for the directly boundary condition. Uh, ideal to uh, consider this H 1 0 omega 0 <coughs> 0 directly and you also know <coughs> when there is a non zero directly boundary condition how to convert that problem to a uh, 0 uh, directly boundary condition. Okay, so, that is and uh, the hard part of <coughs> the elliptic theory. So, even of course, weak formulation and obtaining a solution in H 1 0 omega that is also difficult, but more difficult part is the regularity. Okay, so, this regularity. So, actually <coughs> the solution first you obtain using weak formulation, weak formulation gives uh, gives solution in H 1 0 omega, okay. but regularity gives actually Q is in H 2 even for a general second order uh, <coughs> uniformly elliptic operators. Okay. So, that is uh, that is the hard part that is the hard part. So, the domain in for this particular 0 directly boundary condition we should consider this H 2 H 1 0. Okay, so, with this domain now we can show that L is a densely defined closed linear operator. Okay, so, that is uh, that part is you know so that is uh, fine that is fine. 
okay so but more serious part uh, of course this you can also do for higher order uh, elliptic operators and by the by an elliptic operator with real coefficients has to be of even order okay that uh, elliptic operators of order 2m okay so they are always even order so laplace n is just order 2 and by laplace n is order 4 etc okay so the second part namely the for resolvent estimates the analysis is much harder ok. So, here one important inequality uh, lack of time did not permit us to do many inequalities and this is one of them. So, this is a this is Garding's inequality. Okay, let me just Garding's inequality. So this is an important inequality in the theory, and that will lead us to this resolve respect that <coughs> uh, resolvent set and resolvent estimates. So. So, the all the inequalities you study they are important in applications within P D ok you need not even go outside P D. So, within P D so let me just uh, <coughs> uh, state this one for second order operator. So, this is uh, so this is kind of you see already dissipativity here ok. So, this is L u L 2 if you are working in complex space we have to put a real part here, but let me uh, ok. So, this u in H 1 square minus lambda 0 Okay, so, this that L is the same thing. Okay. So, so, this already we have seen many times this cannot be avoided even for if we just take uh, for example, Laplacian minus Laplacian. Okay, so, this minus Laplacian u u. So, integrate by parts. So, you get just uh, this L grad u square ok. I am just being uh, uh, so appropriate boundary conditions and and this domain ok. Ok. So, this obviously you see that u h 1 uh, square minus u l. So, in general this so this for some constants C 0 lambda 0 positive ok. So, but this is harmless in the sense. So, we can add a lambda a lambda bigger than 0 and that absorbs this lambda 0 term ok. So, it is gone and we get a lower bound for so obtain lower bound a lower bound and that in fact proves dissipativity and then you only we have to show that uh, for lambda and then one need to show. So, this essentially if you take minus minus so you get dissipativity ok. So, so this implies let me write that minus 
L plus lambda i is dissipating. So, in order to make it m dissipative ok. So, just <coughs> so what we have to show is to make m dissipative need to show that image ok this minus r plus that does not matter here because we are taking. So, L plus lambda i may be some other v 1 is L 2 and again that you are back in weak formulation and <coughs> So, that again go back to weak formulation and regularity. Okay, that is how you uh, <coughs> prove uh, that the operator generates once we know that L plus lambda i generates is no not difficult at all to see that L also generates a same group with lambda i is very good ok because this we know explicitly ok that is not a problem ok. So, that uh, uh, so this is how you do uh, problems concerning parabolic equations and hyperbolic equations with uh, Laplacian replaced by more generally by uh, uniformly elliptic second order operators uh, <coughs> and apply the semi group theory. Okay. So, you can see this again in Friedman's book. Okay. So, this is a good source. or any recent book okay, by Bridges or whatever. Okay, so, the M dissipate. Okay. So, talking of M dissipativity, so let me just uh, one remark okay, just why that M, okay, M is for. Uh, <coughs> so, suppose A is uh, M dissipated, M for maximal. Okay. So, maximal for what? Okay, that is the question. So, okay. M is dissipated and B is any dissipative operator dissipative operator such that d a is in d b. Okay. Uh, no, not something more okay let me write that okay so b is an extension of uh, and a x equal to b x for all x in d okay so this is what we defined so this in other words uh, a B is an extension of so then A equal to okay so you cannot have so when M A is already M dissipative you cannot have any proper dissipative extension of P so that's why that M maximal okay so if if there is one extension which is dissipative then it has to be b okay. 
ok. So, this uh, an easy exercise you can uh, do that. Uh, so, final remarks about uh, this course ok. So, we have tried our uh, best I can say to convey some uh, <coughs> topics in this modern theory of PDE and in fact, uh, if you see the spectrum it is uh, <coughs> quite large. So, you have to really sit down and work hard uh, to get best out of this course ok. So, of course, we have left many uh, gaps in our arguments and most of the time we have just referred to some textbooks, but to uh, understand this modern theory. So, this is only a beginning ok. So, beginning there are lots lots of things to do for example, uh, do not find much uh, about LP theory in the literature. So, that is one uh, big topic. Uh, so, there are many interesting things one can do. So, we sincerely wish you all the best in uh, learning this subject, beautiful subject, important subject and uh, having applications in uh, many areas of science and engineering ok. Thank you.